All right, so here's what it looks like for this distributed architecture with a lot of details. So here's your Kafka Connect cluster, and we have multiple workers. We have four workers here. And remember, each worker is a process, and usually that process is an entire server. So here we have four workers, four servers, four processes. Here is my first connector. My first connector is made of three tasks. So task one, task two, and task three. And as you can see, they're spread amongst your workers. So worker one, worker three, and worker four. And that's just an example, okay? There is no way of knowing this in advance. It's just an example of what could happen in real life. Here's our second connector. It could be a source connector again, and it has two tasks, task one and task two. Here's our third connector. It could be a sync connector, and he has four tasks. And as you can see, each of these tasks are run on worker one, two, three, and four. So far, so good, right? So now something happens and your worker number four dies. The server just crashes, you lose his network, who knows why, but you just lose that worker. What happens is that you get into a rebalance. The same way we have rebalance when a consumer uh, dies, you remember, in the consumer group, we have a rebalance if a worker dies in a Kafka Connect cluster. So let's see what happens then. Our connector number one, the task number three, gets moved from worker four to worker two. And similarly, our connector number three, the task number four, got moved to worker one. And as we can see, worker one is now doing two tasks related to connector three, but that's okay. You can have multiple tasks of the same connector on the same worker, okay? So as we can see right here, when you have a distributed architecture and when you have a worker that dies, you just have a rebalance and that rebalance allows your cluster to basically keep on doing what it's supposed to be doing. And that's really awesome because that means that you can have a fault tolerant uh, architecture. If you lose a rack of servers, if you lose a server, well, your Kafka Connect cluster will just rebalance and everything will be fine. And that's pretty awesome. So I wanted to illustrate here really how it works, why running stuff in distributed mode is so much better than single mode. Because if it was just standalone mode and you lose your server, there is nothing you can do, it's gone. But here, using the Kafka Connect cluster, if you lose a server, the other ones will pick it up and your connector will still work. So hope, uh, hope you like this lecture. It really shows like the power of Kafka Connect cluster and I'll see you in the next one.